The latest Lampkin. For more than 30 years, it's been the name in motorcycle sport. Arthur, Alan, Martin and John, all trials champions. As much a dynasty as a family. Dougie Lampkin is 18, and 12 months ago at the British Round of the World Championships, he left no one in any doubt that the family tradition was in safe hands. It'll be a good one to clean, Doug. Two cleans in the dab, you'll be all right. He's got the head of, I don't know, 20, 20, one year, year old. When I was that age, um, I used to find it really, really hard to, to concentrate for like seven, eight hours in a competition. Yes, uh, he's riding very well. This year, have possibility to win the European Championships and I think come uh, to ride him much better. Yeah, for sure, you know, I obviously won the British Championship this year. Um, I'm glad to have done it this year because I think next year he's going to push us hard for the money, definitely. Wheeling over that last. Go here, look. The aim of trials is to ride through a section, whatever the obstacles, without putting a foot down. Since that day in Petro Bridge, he's won all the major British trophies and confirmed his place amongst the world's elite. The trophies have appeared on the family sideboard in Silsden with astonishing, if somewhat familiar, regularity. I think when you've won those sort of things, they want to be out on show uh, for everyone to see, and I, like, I don't mind cleaning them. I must admit, it's rather nice. It's a nice feeling to be cleaning some of the trophies that I cleaned well, 15, 20 years ago, I think they're back in the house again. We've had these, we've had these in our possession before, and it does give me a nice feeling when I'm cleaning them and thinking, I've cleaned all these before, and it's going the full circle round again. I had the inspiration, and the opportunity came when a friend of mine turned up on a trials bike. Arthur begged a ride on it, and uh, that started it off. Higher up amongst the old quarry workings of Tindrum Hill, Arthur Lampkin gives a copy book performance. Alan Lampkin, enjoying a rare glimpse of the sun, really shines here. Martin has taken the Premier Award with only 72 marks lost. One's inspired the other. It's inspiration. And uh, then it's uh, opportunity. And encouragement, that's all you can say about it, isn't it? They've just helped one another and encouraged one another and tried to beat one another. That's all there is to it. Yes, I did. Arthur Lampkin, now well in the lead. Study his determination and masterly control. It's just in us, and that's it. You just can't get rid of it. Motorbikes, motorbikes, motor... Anything on wheels, and we've, we've got to have something to play with some toy. Alan Lampkin, a good fast climb. I don't really know unless it's something in the water, I don't know. I don't know what the secret is. It's it's something that that's there and you can't you can't explain it. It's it's just a total love of motorcycles. The opposition is that good. <laughs> they haven't come three or four thousand miles to come second. You know what I mean? I've only come 20 miles and I've come to win it, so they must have a lot more feeling for it than I. What do you need? What does it take to stay on top of them wheels? You said you need to be sober, like a real good band and dancer. Have the balance of a tight rope walker and muscles of steel. Never cocked my leg over a motorbike for eight or nine years. And the only reason I've started now is because there was nobody to take Dougie to the first round of the European Championship. So I had the weekend off golfing, took him there and he finished six. And so my wife said, well, you'll have to take him to the next and he did better. And we ended up winning the championship. And then he's asked me to go with him this year, which is an incredible honour for your son to actually want you to do it. Because there's so many fathers just get in the way and push, 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 whereas I've never had to push him. I've never had to say, come on, do this. He's just done it. Go 
right. What he's done this year is probably a year earlier than I expected, but I didn't know he had the capability. You're on it lovely there. You can't be better. Let's go back that Very way. special relationship. There's a lot of father-son relationships that will end with what they've got. Because although he is, uh, is the best sort of advisor he could have, uh, it's his father as well, and uh, they do get on very well. He's a bit stiff at knees, Doug. I'm very keen. I have been since I was about nine years old. So I've uh, followed him right from being a, a baby when I carted him round in a little caricot type thing and people looked most disapprovingly, you know, this five-week-old child sat at the Scottish Six Days section watching his dad, but we've always all gone together. So it's just been a general progression from Martin finishing and then Dougie starting. I'm very proud, really, of what he's done. People do now expect me to win each trial so that's hard to live up to but I think it makes you try harder just so you don't let anybody down really. Oh it's a lot of pressure on, on Dougie uh, because Arthur and Sid and myself have all had, had very good careers, won the things and uh, they're all patting him on the back saying come on lad it, it's your turn but they haven't had to wait so long. I think once you won the European Championship last year you know that really boosted his confidence and I mean his um, improvement curve has just been abnormal, really. I mean, he just shot the whole system. Good lad, good ride. I would say from Arthur's day and my day and Alan's day and even John's day, which isn't long down the road now, John's still riding now, over the last four or five years, it has really got more professional. And Dougie has had to go up a gear with his training, his practicing, and his mental approach more than we did. We went out to win. But I can honestly say I was very, very fit. But the boys nowadays are super fit. Trials riding wasn't like that in our days. It was a more of an endurance test. There has been certain times this year in the World Championships where I've looked at things and thought, that is impossible. There's no way a bike will go up there. Wouldn't even like to have a go at it. Not even on the modern motorcycles. Domestically, Dougie Lampkin has been dominant. He's won the Scottish six-day trial, the Scott, the British World Round, and has led the British Championship from day one. Good ride, hold on to it there. Across the Pennines near Burnley, he was out to clinch the title. If he wins today's event and his closest rival finishes outside the top three, the British crown is his. The son of Britain's first and last world champion is riding well. Another clean punched. It's one point loss for a foot down, a dab, five points for a section fail. At the halfway stage, after 20 sections, he's equal second with seven points. Ten times British champion Steve Saunders. A poor first lap, and the second is no better. Last year's champion Steve Colley is losing ground too. The latest Lampkin, though, is giving an almost faultless performance on the second lap. 18 cleans and only a couple of dabs. The Red Rose Trophy and the British title could be heading back over the Pennines later today. How many, Doug? Two on half that. Two? Nine. You've only got one on both. Thanks a lot. No, there's two. It seems clear that Dougie has won the trial with nine points, but the British Championship situation takes some working out. The tenth and final round may have become irrelevant. I would like uh, Dougie Lampkin please to step up and receive his award. Dougie Lampkin. Obviously I want to go on to win the World Championship over and over again and the British Championship, everything, just keep winning. But I mean it's hard to live up to but it's like I'll just give it hundred percent 
for as long as I can. I don't think the sports have ever seen anybody so young do everything so quickly. No one else in this country has won what he's won. So obviously he knows exactly what's going on, which is good. It's, just, it's especially good so it can help me. The Lampkins all help each other. But of all of them, through the generations, who's the best? <laughs> um, you probably get a different answer from each person. <laughs> uh, it's a different style, isn't it? Oh, it's got to be me. I'm miles in front. <laughs> Arthur was the best in his era, and Doug is the best in his era. I think that's the only, the only comparison that you can give. At 18 years old, Dougie would be head and shoulders above the rest of us. 